So Judgment Day is not a super fun topic for people to think about. It has this weight of condemnation on it, um, this weight of accountability. And I think that's important um, as believers to understand that not only as believers, but everyone in this world will be held accountable for the lives we've lived. But as a believer, there's a difference. So we'll stand before God uh, for all of our acts. And you see that throughout the parables, it's the most common theme of all the parables Jesus teaches is judgment. The sheep and the goats, the wheat and the chaff. He talks to one group of people who, who uh, you know, visited uh, people in prison and gave them drinks of water and said, what you did unto the least of these, you did unto me. And then there's the other words that he, he says, you don't really know me because you didn't visit them in prison. You didn't give them drinks of water. What you've done to the least of these, what you haven't done, you haven't done unto me. And so, as a believer, we take this into context through the work Jesus did on the cross. And so I kind of, you know, if I were to just kind of create some imaginary scenario in my head, I'm standing at Judgment Day and giving an account for my whole life, and which will reveal all kinds of acts of jealousy, acts of lust, acts of anger and selfishness, and the list will go on and on and on. There will be this real uncomfortable feeling in the air because everyone, including myself, will come face to face with how imperfect, imperfect I am. And you can almost feel this holy, righteous Father, this judge, just knowing what this means and his passion for justice, his passion for holiness. And that's where Jesus will put his hand on my shoulder and look up and say, I got this one, put it on my tab. And that's grace.